Hey, hey, it's Monday. Jordan Trask here. Hopefully you're having a good week. Not too busy. I know it's the week of Christmas, so there's always, you know, the unexpected happens or, you know, you're hit with a curveball or maybe a snowstorm or drought here or there. Um, you never know. But anyways, I want to jump right into this because I don't have a lot of time today. But today is the 20th day of my 25 days of Christmas. It's been quite the campaign. Um, like I said yesterday, something that many days I didn't want to do. <clears throat> Even today, I don't really want to do it today, but um, it's a it's a commitment that I made and I want to be consistent with it. I think that's important because it shows people the type of character that you have as a business, or at least me, uh, when you do these types of things. And I'm speaking at you like you're my client, but um, you know, when you invest in stuff like this, it's, it may not give you that immediate return. It may kind of be a drag to get through, especially when you got other things maybe that are more important, but it'll be fruitful in the long run because um, you, you thought it through, right? It's a good idea. I think this is a great idea. It lets you guys kind of see the way my brain works. And I want to jump right into some rambling again. I tend to do that, try to paint the picture. But today I drew lawyer services or legal services um, for my random holiday marketing strategy. And like I said before, I've been trying to focus more on TV commercials. So I'm going to try to stay right there because um, I think that's really where my value lies is being able to have creative direction and overlay of the experience, communicate value propositions as many as we can, understand or identify and understand and then target the ideal audiences that will value the uh, message, the messaging or the brand itself, um, the brand value, the, the total value, the equity, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, we want to market a message that not just you know, helps you get uh, business right now. I mean, obviously it's what you do marketing for, right? Uh, but it's not sales. We want we want to focus on long-term sustainability. So something that um, meshes with all your other uh, campaigns, um, you know, we want to be cohesive. We want to create an identity, like I said before, a personality and an experience that people know and they, they know what to expect from you. So when it comes to legal services, I think this is, this is strange, you know, just especially during the holiday season. Typically, I think, these types of uh, lawyers, I guess, these types of lawyers, but lawyers in general, I, I typically see them marketing on billboards or really uh, quantitative measures uh, that gets in front of as many people as they can. You could even have Facebook ads, stuff like that, or, you know, sometimes it's affiliate marketing. They focus a lot on affiliate marketing where they're uh, pushing what's called a display ad or a, a from like a CPM uh, ad format where you're paying per million ads, which uh, share on somebody else's website that might be relevant. So say for example, uh, you're a divorce attorney uh, or a divorce lawyer. So if you have somebody that's going through marriage counseling or maybe uh, somebody goes to a website that, you know, I mean, you could even think of like a cheating website or a dating website if somebody's married and they see a divorce, divorce lawyer, you know, as bad as that may sound. Ideally, that's where they, they market. I mean, you see this stuff. <laughs> Not that I'm on dating websites or anything. Gosh, I should have said that. But you would assume, even on Facebook and stuff, you kind of see some of those ads, CPM ads pop up just based on, you know, your age, uh, different categories, or what you're doing online, right? And so I think lawyers really focus on that wide net approach of getting as, in front of as many people as they can. They're not as targeted as, as they should be, in my opinion. Because typically, if you have a specialty, if you're if you're a legal advisor, you know you want to specialize in something. But if there's a, you know, if there's a bucket of specialties that you offer, a category of specialties, you know, family law, divorce, uh, all these different things uh, that kind of go together, custody stuff like that, then you know you kind of want to focus on people that probably have a family, right? Uh, not just paying ten thousand dollars for a billboard. So when it comes to a TV commercial. I'm really thinking, man, like, let's shake it up here. Let's do something different. If I had a client that's like, man, I really want to spend good money on this and do do something that can help me not just stand out, but that it's a memory. We're eliciting a memory that people can carry with them moving forward that means something, right? That, uh, that they remember not because of, you know, excitement or entertainment or uh, catching you off guard or surprise, right? It's because it means something that makes them feel something that creates a dialogue afterwards. So what I'm thinking is I don't want to zero it in on just a, a specific type of uh, legal avenue because I think this, you could apply this as I'm thinking, we'll see, on, and, and as most attorneys could ap apply this, but maybe talking about the different types of situations that snowball or that happen 
uh, during the holidays that that can create the need for an attorney. So you know maybe an attorney probably wouldn't a legal service maybe wouldn't be uh, up for this at first because then maybe it helps their potential clients avoid something that they may need to pay for. But we want to I want what I would want to do is talk them into having them understand it's more of the message the awareness that it can be fruitful a couple of years down the road type campaign right so even if they apply some of the some of the advice or tips being given to them by a legal advisor during the holidays and they don't potentially or they don't eventually need legal services uh doesn't mean that they won't need them in the future just just don't be selfish don't be greedy and, and don't look for the immediate return look look for the immediate value that gives you uh that long-standing return right so anyways i don't think i actually told you what my idea was yet um because it's still in my head but talk talking about the different things people deal with so maybe you know drunk drivers i think it'd probably be a big one i think i got some slobber from my son he's not feeling good on my sweatshirt but um <laughs> i knew i was that was going to distract me um but you know things that happen uh, during the holiday season if somebody's you know drunk drivers that's what i was saying is a good one uh, you know, people out on New Year stuff like that. Hey, be be cognizant, be cautious. You you're probably not going to stop the drunk driver from going out there and driving. Maybe you stop a couple of them, right? Because most of them is just a character issue, right? They one them type of guys that are girls that get a couple of drinks in them. They're they're Superman. They're invisible. Nothing bad will happen to me, right? That's typically what will happen. But for people that are driving, that are out traveling, what are some things you could look for? What are some giveaways of a drunk driver? that's maybe coming at you if something's, you know, kind of catching your eye in the distance. Um, you know, what, what should you, should you pull over if you're on a guardrail? Uh, you know, do you swerve? Um, you know, the, all these types of things that help a, uh, somebody, a potential client, right, that could sue for damages or whatever, um, understand how do they protect themselves better? How do you avoid the uh, casualties or the total damage or, um, even after if an accident were to happen, what can you do right to avoid maybe um, uh, what can you avoid so that you don't hinder the lawsuit from going in your favor or something like that um, and so you know drunk driving is just one and I think you just go down the list of tips and helping people from a legal standpoint uh, on you know what to prepare for what to look for from your experience because you help these types of people all the time right you're an expert. Um, not just helping the drunk drivers, but the people, you know, get restitution or whatnot. Um, you know, what maybe has failed? What can you learn from those types of people? What uh, pitfalls maybe did they fall into that, that hindered your case as, as their legal representative? So that's just an example. And, and instead of saying, hey, you know, if you do this or you do that, I'm a criminal attorney and blah, blah, blah. You see these all the time. Um, educating. Education. They got, you got the money. You guys got the money. Legal services. And if you build campaigns this way and you, and you start building con a content library with just tips on how you can avoid lawsuits or being sued or uh, being disadvantaged or losing the case um, without giving away the barn right in your tactics and the way you go about things, I think it's extremely valuable. Um, another thing for the holidays, I think, too, is, you know, there's just a lot of stress with families. And if you immediately think of people that are going through hardship, especially now, I think that takes a toll on the marriage. Uh, I think there's a lot of external uh, influences in a lot of people's lives right now that uh, hinder their relationships and I think um, just being able to maybe share a message or some sort of commercial that helps people just relax or breathe a little bit and say hey um, this isn't so bad here are some tips or some steps that you can go through here's why you don't want to get a divorce here's why you don't want to take legal action against somebody um, uh, right now maybe or here's what you could do to maybe get a better case build a better case or maybe wait you should, or maybe go to counseling uh, why counseling helps um, and then you exhaust that and now you want to go through it and you're showing the steps of just if all these different scenarios where somebody may need legal advice that helps them get through the holidays and it's relevant um, because uh, the stress of the season right um, the decisions of the season um, you know custody battles they're fresh in your mind right I, I know me personally I have two stepdaughters uh, you know they're in Arizona right now it's terrible. I, I hate every every second because I know they're not necessarily with somebody that's a great influence on them. You know, I'm, I'm not being controlling. I'm just being a father. But at the end of the day, that can create emotions that, you know, I need to deal with, that I need to talk about, that, um, you know, could could flow into other things, right? Uh, if, if you're dealing with issues with, with uh, 
the biological parent and maybe you want to go back to court and you want to do something that's because you don't get to see your daughter, you don't get to see your kid or, or whatnot, or, you're, or there's some sort of issue there, what are some tips you can go through to make sure you don't put your foot in your mouth, make things worse or hurt your case? Um, this is initially what I'm thinking here because holidays full of emotion, full of uh, desire, um, but it's also full of loneliness, right? It's also full of heartbreak. It's also full of uh, unfortunate events or um, unexpected events, right? Uncertainty sometimes. The New Year's getting ready to start. It could be depressing, you know, if you maybe just, uh, you know, we're in a breakup, right? Uh, maybe, you know, you have um, a bad relationship that's getting worse or just with a buddy or maybe somebody's harassing you, right? Or, or uh, you know, maybe it is a, a father, a biological father that's uh, attacking you like I've experienced in the past. Um, it really affects you. It really affects you as a man. It really affects, uh, you know, the decision making, right? And so how do you make sure that you don't do something that could, you could catch a case? Um, those are the type of, you know, how do you help people during the holidays? How do you give as an attorney? It may, it may seem realistic or ideal to, to, you know, spew a whole bunch of sales pitches on, you know, how you're the best attorney and how you can help people X, Y, Z and, and what, uh, you can expect, blah, blah, blah. But, I'm telling you right now, if you share information on how to help people and how to uh, to get them to do the right thing even, um, or avoid heartache or hardship, I think that creates a memory. So if, if they were to ever come into a situation where they needed uh, legal service, I guarantee you they're gonna call or reach out or find or search for, uh, or at least read your blog, um, read the blog of the person or the uh, company or the, what it, the practice that um, promoted this type of stuff that has good content. You know, you're keeping people on site. Obviously, when somebody is in need, right, and they need an attorney, boom, they're in the decision-making phase, right, they're shopping, that that becomes a whole different ballgame. But if you're able to have a campaign that uh, helps you stand out, that helps you be remembered, or at least drives some, some sort of memory, right, uh, or... Um, you do something that uh, somebody will save or share or download or uh, send to email to somebody, right? Screenshot. Did, like, that's the type of marketing that you want to do. You can reach people in the moment when they need you, and that's great. Obviously, that's a different phase of the cycle. But if you're able to reach somebody before they even know that they need you, that's even more powerful because now you're equipping them with a solution. Uh, to a problem they don't yet have. So if that makes sense. But all you lawyers out there, don't be stubborn, don't be selfish, don't be too forward, don't think you're too smart for these people, or don't think you're smarter than these people. Understand them and be purposeful with everything you do. And always remember to pre-focus. Thanks guys, have a good week.